The Hydroact analyzer is capable of monitoring a variety of parameters, including free and total chlorine, chlorine dioxide, ozone, ORP, and pH. The sensors are simple to install and operate, have no moving parts, and do not require a monthly replacement of reagents. We will demonstrate the easy setup and calibration of Chemtrack's free chlorine monitor, which consists of a hydroact analyzer, a free chlorine sensor, and a sample flow cell. It only takes a few minutes to assemble the sensor or to perform any routine maintenance. The sensor kit includes a probe with a membrane cap, a one-year supply of electrolyte, and a single piece of blue abrasive paper. Certain precautionary measures must be taken. Before a membrane cap is ever removed, it is critical to slide the elastic seal away from the tiny vent hole. Failure to do so can result in permanent damage to the membrane. Also, do not touch the membrane surface, which is located on the tip of the cap, or the gray-colored reference electrode. It is okay to rinse these surfaces to flush away any old electrolyte, and then use a paper towel to dry the gold tip of the working electrode. The assembly process is quite simple. Clean the working electrode by placing the blue abrasive paper flat on a paper towel and run the tip across the paper two or three times to clean the gold surface. Slowly fill the membrane cap to the edge with electrolyte gel, not allowing any air bubbles to form. Hold the probe body upright while inserting it slowly into the membrane cap and screw the cap onto the probe. Rinse off any excess electrolyte that escapes from the top of the cap and through the vent, and then dry the probe exterior. Now be certain the membrane cap has been hand tightened as far as it will go. Finally, slide the elastic seal into the slotted position over the vent hole, making sure that the seal is seated correctly and not twisted. For some earlier free chlorine probe models, an additional much smaller cap, referred to as a G-holder, was required and included in the kit. For these models, before putting on the membrane cap, the G-holder is filled with electrolyte, and then the electrode tip is inserted into the G-holder. The probe, with the G-holder on the tip, is then inserted into the electrolyte-filled membrane cap. It is recommended that the membrane cap and electrolyte be replaced every year. The Hydroact Analyzer provides maintenance reminders for when the electrolyte and the membrane cap need replacing. The sensor flow cells are essential to the proper performance of the analyzers. A dual chamber model is also available for use with a second probe, such as pH or ORP. For the dual flow cell, the chlorine probe should only be used in the second flow chamber, the chamber on the right. As a general rule, the flow cell should be positioned no more than 50 meters from the hydroact analyzer. The sample outlet should flow directly into an atmospheric drain. The flow cell is vented and will not achieve the proper flow rate if there is any back pressure or flow restriction caused by the drain line. When installing, slide the PVC fitting over the probe and then insert the probe into the flow cell. Adjust the PVC fitting so that the probe tip is positioned just above the horizontal sample flow tube near the bottom of the chamber. Water exiting this tube needs to pass across the tip of the probe to prevent bubbles from forming on the membrane, which could subsequently impact the accuracy of the chlorine reading. Connect the sample tubing to the inlet fitting on the flow cell and start the flow of water. The recommended minimum flow rate is 500 milliliters per minute but higher flow rates of 700 to 900 milliliters per minute may be needed to keep the membrane free of bubbles. The Hydroact Analyzer offers on-screen wiring connection diagrams for the sensor as well as for various I.O. options. These diagrams can be accessed through the menu options including analog outputs, relays, and digital communication. The faceplate can be moved to a raised position to reveal the connection terminals and allow for easy wiring access. The probe connections are made using simple press-to-open connectors. When the probe is initially connected to the analyzer, the display will indicate that it's in a warm-up phase. The warm-up and stabilization period should be a minimum of two hours, and during this time, the sample flow must have a chlorine concentration 
that is greater than 10% of the range of the probe. So for a 0 to 5 ppm probe, there should be at least 0 0.5 ppm chlorine in the water. Following the two hour warm up period, a calibration can be performed. When calibrating, the reading from the analyzer is compared to that of another measurement method, such as a DPD chlorine test. At least two DPD tests should be performed in order to ensure repeatability. The calibration mode on the analyzer is easily accessed, and the chlorine reading is adjusted to match the results of the DPD test. Whenever a new membrane cap is installed, it is recommended to do an initial calibration after two hours and a second calibration the following day. The probe can be expected to maintain accurate readings for up to a month, although it is recommended to check the calibration weekly. The Hydroact Analyzer provides a graph display for reviewing historical readings and a service log which allows the user to view when the calibrations were performed as well as when any alarm events took place. The HA4 model has a color display and a downloadable data log, while the HA2 model has a grayscale display and no data download capability. The Hydroact Analyzer can also be set up with single or compound loop PID control for applications that require automatic adjustment of chlorine addition. And when security features are required, the HydroAct can be set up with custom logins for multiple users with varying levels of access. Please contact us for more information on the Chlorine Analyzer as well as the full range of other sensors that we offer.